All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's Kay. So this is the 16th of October on Saturday. So hello, how are you doing? How's it going? I hope you're having a great weekend today. So uh, yeah, let's see. Let me get started. Let me get ready quickly for this live stream. So uh, Dubai is getting be uh, getting become a season now. It's becoming a very nice season. I go outside these days almost every day, but uh, it's uh, it's becoming a cool down, and uh, I can just walk outside nicely, and uh, very nice season. And there's an expo right now in Dubai, so uh, yeah, lots of events happening at the moment. It's lively and. It's so exciting to be here. So, uh, yeah, let's see. All right, thank you for joining, everyone. Great to see you. Great, great to see you here. Okay, all right, I'm ready. So let me squeeze my face and start the session. So, yeah, thank you for joining, everyone, once again. My name is Kei, and I am a um, Ichimoku trader. I am, first of all, Japanese Forex trader full-time, and I use Ichimoku as a main strategy. So today's topic is about which Ichimoku strategy works the best, in my opinion. So I will talk about that since the charts are kind of closed, the market's closed, and no charts are moving. I will just talk about this kind of a psychology or a mindset related topics. So yeah, let's start the session now. So quickly as a disclaimer, uh, this information is basically based on my own understanding and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do uh, with your risk management. And also, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines on this live stream, that would be great because after all, we're all here to learn. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's see who's here first and say hi to everyone quickly. All right, hello Roge and Asa, Sai, good to see you. And you meet Anis, Richard, 416, good to see you here. Juan and Carbon, Sofian and Kale, Gabby and James, good to see you everyone. Thank you for joining. So uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, so um, for today's topic, which strategy works the best in Ichimoku, I created a slide uh, just as my memo. I created a slide, so based on this slide PowerPoint, I will talk about that topic. And this is actually how I create my own strategy also. So please stick to it so that you can refer to how I think about the strategies and how I create the strategies. So before I use Ichimoku, I was using moving average and also I was also using um, Heikin Ashi. Um, I don't use it anymore, but I used to use it. And also I was using other indicators and tools and building my own strategies. So I did millions of backtesting and I practice on the price action and lines and eventually I came up to create the strategies with each moku and that works the best for myself right now but um, just so you know that the uh, you know I'm using Ichimoku uh, right now but before I was using different indicators different strategies and because of that experience I use Ichimoku now and it works well because of the mindset that I will be talking about for today. And the, for, the talk for today is uh, important for whatever strategies, whatever indicators you use. Um, if you are looking for uh, how to create the strategies, I think that will be a great session for today because uh, this is exactly how I think when I created my own strategy by Ichimoku. So, 
Um, so the question is, which Ichimoku strategy works the best in which market and which time frames and which trading styles? And I picked this question because I get many questions like this on YouTube or in comments and also in the emails. So, you know, which Ichimoku strategy works the best in, for example, Forex, which, works, uh, which strategy works the best in gold, which one works best in the stock markets or Bitcoin, for example, or um, which Ichimoku strategy works in daily chart or weekly chart or one hour chart, etc. I got these questions many times. And also, which Ichimoku strategy works the best in scalping as an intraday or the swing trader. So, you know, which market, which time frame, and which trading strategies, trading styles, it works. I get these comments and questions many, many times. Almost every day, I receive these questions. And that's why I decided to talk about this topic for today. All right, so le uh, let me, first, let me uh, talk about my answer. Let me answer to that question, which Ichimoku strategy works the best? And my answer is, it depends. And it depends, but I won't stop here, of course, I won't stop. Uh, if I say it depends, then everything becomes it depends, and that is not the answer. So to be more specific, depends for myself means that it's strategies and situations. So, to break it down in terms of Ichimoku strategies, what kind of strategies can you think in mind? If you come up with some questions or ideas or answers, please write on the chat. In terms of Ichimoku strategies, what type of or what kind of strategies can you think in mind right now? Please type it on the chat if you uh, have the answer. But... Uh, you know, all the strategies works, and it doesn't work, and it depends, is today's topic. And this concept is very important uh, when you create the new strategy, uh, because after all, all, we are all different in terms of the trading styles, in terms of which time frame you prefer to trade, or uh, which markets you, you prefer to trade. So for myself, I only trade Forex, and I don't really trade uh, Bitcoin. I don't trade any other markets. I trade gold sometimes, but gold recently has been ranging, so I don't really trade. Mainly, I trade forex pairs. But uh, um, yeah, so simply I only trade forex. But uh, when you use like uh, other uh, markets, then um, when you trade other markets, then uh, the characteristics of the market will be different. So the strategies should be different too. So once again, in terms of strategies of Ichimoku, what kind of can you, can you think of? Right, Ichimoku strategies. Um, yeah, price action is one of the strategies, but I'm thinking, my question is, what kind of Ichimoku strategies can you think of? Yeah, and in the meantime, let me come back to some comments here. Uh, Isa says, uh, Haikei drawing a trend on a 30 minute time frame. Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen from cycles, they move apart from the move closer together, touch and bounce apart again. Yeah, it happens. It happens on any any. Uh, time frames and it happens in cycles. Yeah, you can you can use it in the tradings too. Yeah, you can use Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen cross or bounce um, for um, the to cut as a trading edges. Yeah, that's possible. All right. So it says, "Hi, Kay. I understand the concept of the buy and sell other according to the market trend. My only concern is the exit when maximum profit." and entering the market at the lowest price. Um, I never trade at the lowest price and I never exit at the highest price. So, because I, I was actually um, thinking to capture these 
when I was a newbie, but I decided not to. I uh, stayed away when the market is about to break or about to turn and twist like a double bottom or inverse head and shoulders when I see it and I will buy and expect the market goes up but not always um, the market reverses backwards and I had some uh, huge drawdowns by that <clears throat> so afterwards I decided not to capture the bottom or the top of the market so I only get the body part and I don't trade the head and tail of the fish is my strategy and then my performance gets much better way better so yeah so let me come back to some comments here now um let's see all right good to see you everyone thank you for joining again let's see richard says if i am correct the forex market do not have volume indicators because the forex market is not centralized uh yeah personally i don't use volumes in forex yeah, I use the price action and Ichimoku mainly. Yeah, Roge says, I've been doing some back tests. I've discovered that Tenkan Kijunsen often acts as a valid SNR um, even in lower time frames. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. You can use these levels as a support resistance lines and the market can bounce. Yeah, it happens like that. So what kind of strategies of Ichimoku can you think of? Uh, please feel free to write on the chat for these Ichimoku strategies. And then I will move on to the, the topic, the next topic. All right, trend following strategy, breakout, pullback. Yeah, but these are the price action uh, strategies. And my question is Ichimoku strategies. All right, let's see. Um, I see that the, uh, let's see. All right, gold cross, dead cross, plus Kumo confluence and breakout. Yeah, Kumo breakout is one. That is true. Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen cross above the Kumo for uptrend. That is also a good one. Yeah, that's true. All right, um, doctor says, uh, I like Tenkan Sen above Kijun Sen plus Kumo breakout. All right, using 4 hour 30 minute chart. Okay, that's good too. That is also the Ichimoku strategy. Yeah, let's see what else we can find. Uh, Asa says, one strategy could be when Kumo is up, you can buy or do nothing. And when Kumo is down, you can only sell or do nothing. Okay. All right. So yeah, Kumo breakout, Kumo bounce could be one of the Ichimoku strategies too. Yeah, let's see. Doctor says... Um, Price above the Kumo on both 1 hour chart and 4 hour chart, then enter when price reacts and breaks Kumo again in 15, okay? So Kumo breakout in multiple time frames, all right? Let's see, yeah, uh, Viso says, uh, can Forex Tits work with Mac? No, you can't. You can only run it on the Windows, all right? Yeah, Roge, you're welcome. All right, Ash says, Ichimoku plus fixed range volume profile. Okay, all right, good, good. All right, so, so yeah, these are some examples of the Ichimoku strategies. So here's a list of a couple of examples of Ichimoku strategies. So first of all, we have Tenkan-sen, Kijun-sen cross as one of the Ichimoku strategies. And another strategy would be Kumo breakout. Yeah, and also there is Chikou Span breakout. You know, when Chikou Span breaks a candle, for example, uh, if I can just see the real chart. So here is a Chikou Span break. You see that Chikou Span breaks a, Kumo down, uh, breaks a candles downwards, and this is a Chikou Span breakout. So that will be one also. So Chikou Span breakout. And also Kijun Sen. Or Kumo bounce, you know, sometimes market breaks, sorry, market bounces by the Kijun Sen or Kumo. So example is like, um, let's see here, you see 
the Kijun Sen bounce over here. And the market goes up this way. And Kumo bounce happens here. And the market goes up this way too. So we have Kijun Sen bounce and Kumo bounce many times in, the, in these examples. So that's also one of the examples. And let's see what else we have. Um, so Kijun Sen range strategy. So Kijun Sen acts as a mid price when it's ranging. So coming back to a trading view, let's say when you see the market ranges like this, so somewhere in between here and here, you see the market has been ranging. And when you see the range, Kijun Sen acts as the mid price so if i can just take out the kijun sen uh, from here so here is kijun sen and the market goes up and down through the kijun sen and so when the market you know takes away from kijun sen um you can buy and target to the kijun sen when it takes away from upwards, then retracement will be also the target is Kijun Sen. So like this, when the market goes up and down in the range, Kijun Sen acts as, as the mid price, and this is actually one of the Ichimoku strategies too for the range market. So that's also one of the strategies here, Kijun Sen range strategy. And also, Ichimoku offers theories like wave theory and time theory, time cycles is also another Ichimoku strategy. And also price target theories too. This one is also another Ichimoku strategy to capture uh, which will be the target as per, um, as per this uh, market move on the wave and time cycles. And also, there is what we call Kyushu legs. Kyushu legs is another Ichimoku strategy. And also um, Ichimoku multiple time frames. Like you can follow 4 hour chart, daily chart, or 30 minute chart. You can see charts, multiple time frames by Ichimoku. And you can have that strategy. So, so these are just examples. And there are many more strategies that Ichimoku offers, but the question is this, which Ichimoku strategy works the best on markets, different markets, different time frames, and different trading styles. So we have thought about the strategies of Ichimoku, and now we talk about the situations, because the situations also is different among the traders. So myself, I am a swing trader, and I do forex, and um, I watch, I use Ichimoku. So the situations will vary, but when you think about the situation your own, uh, you have to think about these things. You know, you have to think about the which, and when, and where, and who, and what, and how. Okay, so which means that, uh, for example, which market are you trading? Are you trading Bitcoin? Are you trading Forex? Are you trading the stock market? It's different, right? Everybody's in a different market. And also, which time frame are you trading? Are you trading a daily chart or a five minute chart or a monthly chart? You know, uh, time frame is also different among the traders. So, that's also one of the situational change difference. And also in terms of when, for example, that is timing in the day. So when do you watch the market? Uh, in Asian session, London, or the New York session? It's also different, right? Everybody's living in different countries, different regions. So we all look at the market and the different timing per day so that's different and also where so where means the time frame so which time frame do you watch 
a daily chart or you only trade in the five minute chart uh you know like for example two hours in a day because you're busy at work or uh you know something else and then you might be only watching charts you might be only able to screen charts two hours or three hours per day uh versus if you are retired or if you have free time 24 hours then you can watch daily charts you can watch higher time frames and trend through these higher time frames so time frame is also different among the traders and also who so who means uh, for example scalping or a day trader or the swing trader which one are you is also different among the traders and also what so for example what kind of strategies you use is also different myself i use ichimoku strategy and i do so in multiple time frames but for some of you might be only using price action or maybe some of you are using moving average which is a very popular uh, indicator or uh, some of you are using the price action only so the strategies are different so what are you using to for your strategy is also different among the traders and the next question is how so for example how you enter how you exit is also different among the traders for some of you like i mentioned on the chat in the previous chat some of you uh, would like to capture all the way the bottom of the on, of the market to to buy and exit all the way to the top so if you create it if you create that kind of strategy then that might be that will be for sure different from mine because i don't i'm not really trying to capture the head and the tail of the fish but my strategy is to capture the body part so of course entry timing and exit timing will be different also so so all these are different so the situations of the traders are different on these criterias and also strategies are different so let's look at some chart examples so in terms of strategies we have these for ichimoku so for example let's take tenkan sen kijun sen cross to take a trade let's say you decide you decide to use this one tenkan sen kijun sen cross and then what you can do is you can go to the chart and simply um look for tenkan kijun sen cross so when i backtest or when i create a new strategy then and if i want to use tenkan sen kijun sen cross only then i will just delete all the lines all other lines and only take out a tenkan sen kijun sen cross and since i am a you know um, full-time trader i stick to the daily chart or the flower chart so myself i take the daily of four but if you are more of an intraday trader then you better take one hour chart because in that way you have more opportunities for this particular strategy or if you are more the swing trader then you can pick the weekly chart to create the strategy for this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Cross for in the case of myself I use the daily chart as main so I pick daily chart and I only pick the dead cross and gold crosses for the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Cross so simply I put the vertical lines when it happens like this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Cross and hold on let's see so tenkan sen kijun sen, gold cross here dead cross here and previously gold cross happened here and dead cross happened over here um okay so this was the tenkan sen kijun sen bounce happened over here and tenkan sen kijun sen gold cross happens here too so like this i plot these vertical lines when they happen like this 
Okay, and I do this since I use Ichimoku, and I am a uh, intraday to swing trader, so that's why I take daily chart and I use Ichimoku, and I decided to use Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Cross strategy, and that's why I plot these vertical lines. Yeah, so after that. Uh, I will I will uh, look at which one is working and which one is not working. So the ones that are working is, for example, if I buy here and market goes backwards, but if I have stop loss is below the previous low over here, then um, in this case, um, my position will be taken because the market goes backwards and it will hit the position stop loss. So, this is not good. This one, it doesn't work. So, I say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so let's say the next one here. Um, if I buy right here, then um, if, I, so if I buy right here, at this, uh, so this is, sorry, this is dead cross. So, if I sell here and market reverses backwards, goes backwards, and it will break the resistance level and this one doesn't work either so this one i should not take okay and what about the next one so the next one here if i buy over here and the market goes up afterwards it doesn't break the previous low but it keeps going up this way so this one is trustable so this one's good it works and the next one did cross so here is, oh sorry, this is the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen bounce. So Tenkan Sen bounces the Kijun Sen and this one works. Uh, this one, if I buy here, for example, and then the market goes down and there is a long wick pointing downwards and most likely I will have to exit, but this one doesn't work. And the next one, Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross over here, if I buy, then the market went backwards, but it doesn't renew the previous low, but it just keeps going up this way. So this one works. So this is good, it works. And the next one, uh, Tenkan Sen using Gold Cross, if I buy here, it doesn't go up, but uh, it just reverses backwards, so this one didn't work. And then here is Tenkan Kijun Dead Cross. So um, if I sell, the market does not really higher, but it retraces backwards, but eventually goes downwards this way. So in this case, it works. So I will just mark it works on this one for sell. And there is another dead cross, dead cross of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. So if I sell, the market goes down continuously, so it works here too. So like this. If I use only Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Dead Cross in the daily chart in the Forex pair, this is the result. And I do this uh, 100 times. So in this example, on this one screenshot, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 8 um, trading um, you know, timings for this Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen cross. So, when I do it 100 times, and I only pick up the ones that are working. So in this example, the ones that are working would be... Uh, so this one is working, this, one, this one's not working. Uh, this buy is working, but all the, all the other ones were not working. So I will just delete these ones. So these are the only ones that are working. So, and I look into in what conditions these are working. So, first one is I noticed that the market is above Tenkan Kijun Sen. And uh, if I show the Kumo, most likely it happens above the Kumo. So, these are the conditions where it's working in this way. And also, Tenkan Kijun did cross. The market goes up, but eventually it goes down this way. So, in that sense, it's working. If I hold swing, it works in that way. So, um, that will be also the condition. The this dead cross happens above the kumo, I believe. So let me just uh, show other lines. 
So if I show other lines like this way, hold on, let me see. I fit the chart like this way. So uh, yeah, if I just do like this, yeah. So uh, this one happened above Dakumo, Chikou span above the candles, and it was working. So here, it wasn't. Uh, technically, it was above the Kumo, but this was dead cross. So um, dead cross ha should happen below the Kumo, but it has to have it happened to work because um, this dead cross was the last dead cross. This was the last dead cross, and um, afterwards the market broke the Kumo downwards, and then that's why it works. So that means. If you see dead cross above the Kumo, and if the market breaks the Kumo, then this one works. So you can keep holding the position until the Kumo breakout. If there is no Kumo breakout, then you have to exit. In that condition, this dead cross works like this. And also the next dead cross, you know, this one happens. Uh, happens within the Kumo, but the price was below the Kumo, Chikou span below the Kumo, and in this case it works like this. So you see kind of patterns like this. Yeah? You see the patterns, and if you find these patterns, you evaluate if it works on the previous charts, and also other charts, other markets. And this is how you create your own strategy. And so if you are the Forex trader, and if you are a using Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen close strategy, and also if you are a like in this example, if you are a Forex trader, and if you are using uh, the daily time frame, and if you are a day to swing trader, and if you use Ichimoku. And if you use enter and exit, or especially enter in this case, by that Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen cross of Ichimoku, then you can say that it works. This particular strategy works. But if you are the stock market trader, or if you are trading cryptocurrency, and if you are actually, you know, dealing with the uh, lower time frames like one hour chart or 30 minute chart then it might not gonna work i mean you have to evaluate yourself whether it works whether this tenkan sen kijun sen cross works or not so um and that's why i say it depends because um it depends on which time frame and which market you're dealing with and uh that is a whole point that I wanted to say today. So, um, like I mentioned previously, I get many questions like which Ichimoku strategy works the best in Forex, Gold, Stock Markets, Bitcoin, or which time frame, which trading strategies. And I have to say, it depends. But uh, if you are more close to wh what uh, I see daily, every day, like if you are dealing with the forex and if you are dealing with the daily chart or the forward charts and if you're using ichimoku in multiple time frames then i would say it works because it is my strategy and i do this as my main um you know uh, strategy here but um i can't tell because uh you know we we uh I can't tell about the Bitcoin, I can't tell about the stock markets or indices. Or stock markets indices, I have been backtesting and it's working. So I would say it works with my strategy, but uh, you have to backtest still. So coming back to the market, so in this example, in this particular time frame between the April and the October for this year, we had only three uh, timings that it works. So uh, if you if you only look at the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen cross, most most of the cases, uh, three out of eight, it only works. So um, it's not a good rate, especially 
if he see if he saw that there was a huge retracement and you won't most likely you won't be able to hold the sell for all these days because this is a huge retracement so um yeah in that sense only this one this one works so out of eight Henkans and Kijuns and Crosses, I would say only, uh, yeah, uh, two works in this example. But still, you have to backtest and you have to uh, see which one works, which, which one doesn't work. And this is only the case for Euro AUD. And if you look at the, for example, uh, USDJPY, it might be different. You just pick up the chart randomly, but at least you have to pick like 100 timings for Tenkan-sen, Kijun-sen, death crosses in the past and then um, uh, you see which one works and in what conditions it works and when, what condition it doesn't work so as I mentioned previously Ichimoku offers many strategies Kumo breakout, Chikospan breakout and Kijun-sen Kumo bounce happens and uh, you know Kijun-sen raise strategies also here so there are many, many strategies like this. And sometimes you see when I, you know, like a, when you see some uh, other videos or, you know, some other live streams happens and say, okay, uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo works the best in Forex or works the best in stock market. Uh, I would say that that is not true technically because, you know, uh, it depends depending on training style depending on your location, depending on when you can take trades and how long you can hold the positions. So to, to know which one works the best for you, my recommendation is to backtest like this, to backtest at least 100 times and uh, see which one works for you in uh, your, your market, in your region. So. Um, yeah, so that is uh, mainly what I wanted to say today about these questions. So yeah, let me quickly come back to comments. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you once again. If you liked the live stream so far, please press the like button before you leave so that it keeps me going. All right, so... Yeah, so Chikospan breakout also has some fakes. Uh, you see Chikospan breakout many times, but if you see the past chart, it's obvious that this works. This part, Chikospan, you see after the Chikospan break, it goes up. Because you see the past chart, and this is obvious, but can you really buy? I mean, how can you confirm that it not reverse backwards is the key. So... You know, because you might see Chikospan breaks here and here. You have Chikospan breakouts many times. But so in this example, like uh, one, two, three, four, five out of five Chikospan breakouts, only one works. So, you know, which one works the best really depends on which time frame and which uh, market you're looking at. And this is, I'm actually talking only about the entry and exit this time. And with this in mind, you also take into the risk management and also, um, uh, yeah, the profit management into consideration. Uh, so risk management means that uh, you have to cut loss very soon. The exit timing is also very important as a risk management and also when to take profit is also very important so in other words when you backtest like uh, even if you see many times of Chikospan breakouts and they seems to fake uh, if you can exit very quickly on these five times let's say each losses will be only like 10 pips and so that will be uh, 50 pips of loss, let's say. But when when you see when you capture this big big wave, it can cover the previous 50 pips of loss. 
And this is about the risk and reward ratio, about the part of the risk management. So if you take that also into consideration, um, the strategies might be different and you have to backtest on this. So this is a very scientific approach, I would say. You have to be like a science, scientific approach and also um, get the statistics about it. Otherwise, you cannot run the, you know, you cannot run profit in the long term. So I used to, I used to only capture, try to capture this one. And um, I was always looking for this to happen every time I trade. And that was when I was a newbie. And I thought this is called a strategy. I thought this Chikospan breakout, which is true, I thought was called the strategy that works. But after eight years of my full time Forex experience, I thought this, so these Chikospan breakouts, and you know, the fact that the mark. The, this big winner can cover the small losses is the true strategy that works. So my mindset really changes in that sense. So, but previously, I was only looking for this. Or maybe this Chikospan bounce. You know, when it does, it goes up and you can run profits. And, you know, uh, I was only thinking this one also as the strategy. But I, I realized myself that all these are the strategy. And that's why I say I don't really care about the win rate because out of six, for example, strategies, six entries, if I can win one, and if that one uh, trade can cover all the previous small losses, that works for me because I can run profits. So... This is also a um, very important uh, uh, perspective uh, when you backtest or when you try to create a new strategy. But this is also a part of the strategy. And this also depends, it also depends on what kind of strategies you use and what kind of situations you are in. So, uh, Yeah, and yeah, please, please backtest is, is my, is my, uh, you know, always like a, a message for you because you can't simply see the previous charts and only capture these, these, you know, uh, big waves and see that it works. You can't say that uh, unless you backtest, for example, like uh, you if you are using trading view you can just go back to the chart like this and you just move the candles one by one in the daily chart so there's a chikou span comes below the candles and let's say you take a sell and as it moves on the chikou span goes along with the candles and now there is a chikou span breakout again, breakout again so you might place a sell here again so, and expect the market goes down this way. Because Chikospan breakout just happened, so you expect the market goes this way. However, it reverses backwards. So, oh, okay, in this case it works. Sorry, in this case it works. So, I just move on. Oh, but there was a big, um, you know, retracement. And the market goes into the Kumo now. So, not only when to enter the market, here in this example, it shows when to exit is also very important. If you exit right now, then um, the drawdown might be huge. Or if you just keep holding the position and expect the market still goes down. But Chikou Span is still below the candles, so it's still okay. But when you see Chikou Span comes close and right into the candles here then um, you might take you can take this one also an exit timing too so um, 
or here maybe when you see chikou span overlaps in the previous timing here that will be an exit timing too so this is so this is a cell entry and these will be two exit timings in terms of a chikou span so uh and you backtest you keep backtesting like this and see if it works or not and also you look at where is the kumo locating at that time and you might also want to look at the weekly time frame if weekly was down or up a range then you can actually look at the chikou span breakouts and see if it works or not so uh but uh yeah this is also another idea of how you can identify uh, which strategy works or not and this is basically how i backtest when i create a new strategy this is uh, also one of the examples of how I um, backtest and um, uh, yeah, come up with the strategy that works for myself uh, to be able to keep using to the future markets. So uh, yeah, so that's the example. All right. Yeah. Good to see you, everyone. Thank you for joining. All right. You're welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I do see many comments, but uh, unfortunately, I have to go. I have to switch to the Ichimoku membership live stream. So uh, I will be ending the live stream for now, but uh, I hope you have a great, great weekend. Okay, so uh, yeah, so please practice and please keep in mind what kind of strategy you use and what kind of trader you are. Because depending on these two conditions, the strategies should be different is my opinion. So, once again, thank you for joining. Until the end, if you liked it, please press the like button. And please have a great, great weekend. So, if you are a Ichimoku member, then I will see you soon. Otherwise, I will see you on the next time. So, yeah, I do see many comments. So, I'm sorry I cannot cover all these comments. But after I end the live stream, I will come back to these comments on the chat and I enjoy your messages. So once again, thank you for joining and until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.